what are really separate. It's a martial art, but it's kind of in its own league where, you know, karate, kung fu, they're, okay, good, you know, we're over here, capoeira is somewhere over here. A lot of uh, students, they used to ask me, what do they need to be capoeiristas, you know, for real? And I always tell them, it's not about their chords, it's not about the moves they can do, it's all about uh, having, feeling it inside. You know, capoeira is the most hard martial art to understand, but the most fun to do it. Yeah, capoeira is an aprendizado constant. And just like in capoeira, you are always learning. Você nunca sabe tudo. You never know everything. Então, tá sempre a procura, sempre a busca. De estar sempre melhor. You're always looking for something. You're always uh, going for something to, to be better. It's fast, it's fast, it's fast, it's fast. And you have to react, 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 react. You have to take everything lightly. You have to keep your head cool. You have to, you know, as fast as it is, you have to still keep your thoughts together, still know which way you're going. If someone touches you, if someone kicks you, if someone falls on top of you by mistake, are you going to get angry and try to, try to get revenge on that person? And it's one thing to, to get hit and take the hit and get angry and then you just want to fight right then and there and then all the capoeira goes out the window. It's another thing to take the hit and say, that was good, okay. And then you just remember it and you keep your cool and you come back and you play with confidence, you smile and you catch the other person again when they're not expecting it. You have to learn how to manage your anger and be also tough and beautifully graceful at the same time. And keep anger down because you're going to see that person again. Mestre Jolon was the first guy that came here to and treat New York and, uh, and brought capoeira. But after him, uh, Contra Mestre Piquinez, that is my teacher, was the guy in charge of uh, taking capoeira everywhere. People uh, are really in love with him. He created a new style of capoeira, you know, because he's so stretched and his moves are so perfect. Every time he, he goes in the hall, the, everybody just like stops uh, to, watch, uh, to watch him playing, you know, because he's really amazing. The most important thing to go to Brazil is to understand the better capoeira and see different styles, you know, and see the old master and play. Now people with 80 years old and playing capoeira, so they can understand the better world capoeira. The, the bitterbell is the heart of capoeira. Without the bitterbell, there's no music. Without music, there's no capoeira. It's just a bunch of guys, a bunch of people dancing around, throwing kicks at each other. It's, it, you know. It becomes like break dancing with kicking, you know? You know, it tells you come in, come out, go up, go down, be aggressive, be defensive. It, it tells you everything. The songs we sing in the Roda, I wish you could understand, you know, because they always tell histories about people. Sometimes two guys are in a fight, and then just like they fight, they fought before, and then they meet in the Roda, and then when one guy goes to the beating bow and starts singing a song to the other guy, and just like, that's why you have to be all the time paying attention, because a lot of things go on, you know? So sometimes they write songs for, uh, because of the fight they had, or because of uh, somebody they, they lost, or because of something they are doing or they love to do. The, the music is the life. It's, it's what makes capoeira capoeira. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, what, it, it's what gives the energy to the group, um, to, to the hoda. Um, you know, it, we always say, if I pick up the bit and buy, I say, you know, Everybody sings, everybody claps, you give your energy to the Hoda, the Hoda gives your the energy back to you. And if there's none of that, if there's no energy, then there's no game. There, there can't be, you know, it's, it, just, it, it dies. It dies right there in the Hoda, and, and nobody likes to see that.
I think a lot of people are are looking at it for the same reason I looked at it when I started. It was just the freedom, the you know, it's something exotic. Yeah, it's something you don't see every day. So maybe that's part of it. But you know, you get in there and you play, and and it's all encompassing. You know, there's no there's no straight form where you have to stand and you have to do this and you have to do that. You know, it's movement, it's freedom. You know, it's being able to go on the floor and then go high and do a flip and go up, go in, go out, and just just do a lot. You know, some people look at it as, as more of a dance, something they can do at a club, you know, fine. You know, the bass is still the martial art, and people like it for that reason.